Hi folks, my name is Fred. Welcome to my shop. Today's video is the upgrade of an Atlas Series 10 cross slide control. Uh, this is a this is my Atlas uh, 10F. This particular one is a TH54. Uh, the T stands for Timken bearings, which are in the headstock here and here. Uh, the H stands for horizontal motor. Uh, the, the drive and the, and the motor are off the back of the lathe as opposed to vertically in the back of the lathe. And the 54 stands for the length of the bed, 54 inches long. Quite a long lathe. Uh, I like this, this lathe a lot. It's very popular. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of them out there and, and hopefully this modification will help some of you fellows out there and girls, ladies that have uh, uh, the, T, the F series lathe. Um, I've upgraded and did a lot of modifications to improve the lathe for my operating style. The first thing I did is I got a really big three jaw chuck. It's from Poland. It's got a two and a half inch diameter bore. Allows me to put in fairly large stock and uh, I can put uh, 5C collets in there. It's, it's like six inches deep. So that's kind of cool. Um, I upgraded like everybody does to a, a quick change tool post. And I added a handle so I can reposition the, the tool post quickly. Um, I added a separate power drive for the lead screw. This is it here. I, I fabricated this up. Um, because I didn't like that the lead screw wouldn't slow down enough. Um, it, it's, it's, the finishing cuts were still too coarse for me, so I made this it can go either way, forward or reverse, and it's uh, controllable for speed. Really nice feature of this lathe is this. This is the uh, quick change tool post. There's no need to, to change gears in here to change thread, so... It's got a separate safety off on off switch along with the front the forward and reverse switch here and I added a, a little verner here on the on the tailstock so I could uh, very accurately advance the tailstock and finally the subject of today's video is I added a cross slide control I upgraded it this if you can see it is the cross the standard stock cross slide control uh, it's a knob it's hard to get to it rotates as as the lathe is operating and you don't really have a positive feel for when it's going to engage and when it's going to disengage so what I wanted is I wanted a handle and I for a more positive control not a knob so, we'll go over to the bench and take a look at what I came up with. Hi folks, we're over at the bench now. Uh, I took off the, the knob that comes standard with the lathe and this is it. And as I mentioned earlier, this, this knob actually rotates with, uh, with uh, the, the, the screw, the, the cross side slide screw. Uh, it's pinned to a 5 16 inch shaft with a, a 16 inch uh, roll pin. And I wanted to take this off and upgrade it to a lever. So the very first thing I did is I got a piece of uh, hot rolled stock that I had, bored a, a 5 16 inch hole and a cross slide pin for a cross slide pin the very same way this is. And then I freehand turned a ball. Um, on here. That was my first freehanding and it came out pretty good. And what that'll allow me to do then is to insert the ball into this piece here. This is the handle. This is where the ball slides down into. There's a slot here. And that allows this ball to turn and the shaft to turn. It also takes up the angle 
that is created when when the shaft is not ver perpendicular with the the cross side slide lead screw and just a piece of cold rolled steel a brass knob for bling and this is what the base looks like held in with a nylock screw and there are two holes I had to drill two holes in the uh, face of the the lathe to accept this and um, then I, I tapped them uh, I think this is uh, 1024 it goes into the the apron about that far so let me let me let me take this back over and set it up attach it and I'll bring you back and we'll have a demo be back soon okay we're back at the lathe I've uh, reattached the modified control this is the uh, 10 10 24 screw there's one here there's one on the other side and uh, the shaft with the ball has been attached to the 5 16 screw that comes out that's the cross slide I put a little all-purpose grease on the ball so now what we'll do is because I have a a secondary lead screwdriver uh, I can I can operate this without operating the, without operating the mill because the mill is not being or I'm sorry the lathe because the lathe is not being driven by the uh, the quick change gearbox so you can see the lead screw turning here I'm having to work around the camera so pardon you can see the lead screw turning um, and all we need to do now to engage it is pull down this lever and you can see that the cross slide is is actually winding out we can increase the speed of the motor okay we can slow it right down we can stop this we can change direction and engage it so all in all this this project turned out really well uh, the length of the handle here was in keeping with the extreme outside uh, dimension of the the cross slide crank I didn't want it coming out anymore the one the one one thing I wanna if you if you implement this the one thing I want you to be careful of is now you've got two levers you've got a cross slide and you've got a linear uh, and they're both levers and they both go down to engage you gotta keep your wits about you when you throw a lever I've more than once that I've uh, thrown one lever when I really wanted to throw the other and have come close to trashing apart so as always keep your head about you when you're operating machinery so that's it uh, a pretty relatively easy project doesn't take a lot of stock Go out one more time doesn't take a lot of stock um, I made this this piece of aluminum uh, I think it's three quarter inch. I, I milled it up in the mill. Nothing fancy. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you'd like to see details of any other project that I, or other mod that I've made to this lathe, uh, just leave me a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful, and have a good day.